Hello, this is Antandra, and today I'm going to show you how to create your very own wave tables for Serum using Adobe Photoshop. So, without further ado, this is the kind of thing we're going to be creating. I just created this wave table a few minutes ago. So, yeah, I mean, it's really up to you how you do this, but I just made a, a document and uh, that document is 500 pixels wide by 500 pixels tall at 300 resolution. You can make it whatever resolution you want. This could be 72 and this could be 500. Doesn't really matter. Um, what matters is when you load these into Serum, which you can do by clicking and dragging. I've already made a bunch, so check it out. You can just drag any of these into Serum. This one, you know, uh, when, in, when you load a wavetable into Serum this way, it works its way from the bottom to the top. So in this one, I made the bottom part a square wave. About a quarter of the way through, it turns into a sine wave. You can tell it's a sine wave because it goes from medium gray, which means it's at the zero crossing, up to white. So it goes, ramps up, and then it ramps down to black, and then it ends up back at medium gray again. So it creates a sine wave. And then this creates a sawtooth wave because it starts all the way positive and then goes all the way negative. And this one creates a triangle kind of wave. So... If I load this into Serum, you'll see what I mean here. You just click and drag, it's that simple. And as it scrolls through now, you can see square. And it added some interesting character to the sounds. So it's definitely fun to experiment with and you can also get more elaborate, so let me give an example of some ways to create stuff in Photoshop for this. So, for one, you could use the gradient tool. Um, oh, to get this 50% black, I just used the paint bucket tool, and you just go in here and type 50% right here in the black, and you know, so if this is down here and you type 50, you're good. And then you just fill that, oh, wrong color there. You just fill it with the 50% black. And that, that way you have a nice starting ground because that's where your zero crossing is. Otherwise, you could have a lot of DC offset. So this is a good thing to do. And then you can, you know, use the gradient tool and make your own custom gradients in here. This is a fun way to go about it. Just kind of go through and build it however you want, space it however you want. And then you can use different type of gradient selections up here to create different shapes like that. And there's some cool stuff like the distort shear and you can create cool wavy patterns like that which sounds cool when played in serum because it goes up the spectrum or it, it goes throughout the wavetable kind of wobbling it and and it wraps around to the other side so that's cool so let's try and see what that sounds like I'm gonna save this as a PNG we'll call it number 42 and by the way I'm gonna be giving away a pack of all of these PNG files you can look for that in the description. Um, so yeah, and then I go ahead and import that into Serum now. And let's see what that sounds like. So you can see, you can get some really crazy stuff going on really easily. Like the math in this is amazing to try and generate that with the the formula generator would be pretty rough but to just 
draw it in Photoshop takes a few seconds. So some other cool things I like to do, like distort, there's the wave option and you can click randomize here. This is a great one for coming up with some cool sounds. Let's see, try and find something simple. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. Whoa, okay. So you can just hone it in however you want. And then let's hear what that sounds like. I'm gonna go ahead and save that. It's a PNG, we'll make it number 43. So yeah, there's just a lot of possibilities like let's see if I drag that you can hear what that sounds like or let's have a listen to this sounds pretty pretty intense all right we got this now keep in mind these are all just starting places it's then you know a great time to do something like some FM synthesis something use a analog sine wave and get FM from B here and hear what that sounds like You can see there's a wide range of sounds possible just with that and then you have all the effects in here so yeah I'm really glad um, Serum now has the ability to receive PNG files so thanks Steve Duda for adding that to the version before the last one I downloaded so yeah check this sound out whoa too much I don't know why that's so oh, I have this turned up way too high, that's why. So yeah, you can see the sound design potential there. Any of these sounds I mean, oh, did we ever even preview this one? Yeah, I guess we did. That was the last one we we heard before this. But yeah, any of this, you know, has a lot of potential. Throw on some effects in here. get some cool Nero type sounds or whatever you know so have fun with that and until next time I'm on Tandra check out the downloads peace